Okay, well, why don't we, uh, why don't we get going again? And so Jane, who I didn't see your hand up, I wanted to come up also, so I'm going to bring Jane up then. Okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so tell me about your new movie. <laughs> okay, good. So you're sitting up straight, feet flat on the floor. Uh, we need to move the chair back a little. There. Good. And in, in again. That's too far. Now in a little more against the desk. There you go. Good. Okay. I'm just going to touch your hand for just a second. All right. Just move it forward here. Okay. Bring your hand up. No worries now. Just take that hand and just going to relax it right in that position. I'm going to ask you a few questions, and uh, you just answer the questions by nodding your head, shaking your head no. If you don't know the answers, just look at me. You know, we'll get the information, and we'll move on. Remember, there's no right or wrong answers to this, okay? Okay, good. As a child, did you walk in your sleep? All right. Growing up, did you express your feelings verbally with your family growing up? Have you ever awakened from a dream and felt you couldn't move your body or speak? Do you feel you're often affected more by the tone of voice or the body language and the words that we use? Do you feel you uh, learn better by seeing and reading than by hearing? So can you create a mental picture with your eyes closed? So if I had you think about a, a picture of a horse running in a field, can you create that picture in your mind? Okay, good. I'd like you to look down at your hand, a beautiful ring, and get a nice image of that. And then when you have that image, you just allow your eyes to close, okay? Good. All right, nod your head if you can still imagine that, that your hand on the table. Okay, good. Now some physical changes will naturally begin to take place. I'll point them out to you, and then just nod your head as you become aware. So draw your attention into your breathing. Focus on the breathing. Good. Feel how that change occurs. Nod your head as you feel that. Good. Now you're focusing on your eyes, and there's that little up and down movement already happening, a little fluttering. And there'll be this tendency to feel a bit of dryness in your lips and your mouth, a tendency to want to swallow. Good. Now your attention moves into your left arm on the table, and you feel your elbow pressing against the table. And then from the tips of your fingers into your wrist and your forearm, the hand begins to lift and rise up off the table. A little pulling, little jerking motions. Kind of a lifting, rising feeling. So the hand becomes lighter and lighter. Lighter and lighter. Kind of lifting and rising as you feel your hand lighter and lighter now. Very, very light. Lifting and rising, up and up, becoming lighter and lighter with every breath you inhale. You feel that left hand becoming lighter and lighter. Very, very light. Lifting and rising, lighter and lighter, up and up, lighter and lighter rising and lifting, and focusing on that hand and feeling it as it's beginning to happen. This rising sensation, the hand becoming very, very light now, lighter and lighter, rising and lifting, lifting and rising with every breath you inhale, that hand wants to rise up off the table, lifting and rising, up and up, very, very light, lifting and rising now, lifting and rising now. Lifting and rising now, lighter and lighter, lighter and lighter, light as a feather. As the hand continues to want to lift and rise up off the table, just feel that sense of that hand very, very light. A little pulling, little jerking motions. That rising, lifting sensation, rising up off the table now, rising and lifting. And in a few moments, you begin to feel a twisting and turning as that hand begins to turn upwards and inwards towards your face. And you'll begin to feel a feeling that your head wants to begin to gently move down towards your hand. 
and the hand is lifting and rising and beginning to twist and turn the palm, fingertips turning inward towards your face. Twisting, turning, lifting, rising, upwards and inwards now, and your head gently coming down. And so there's that lifting, rising feeling. Upwards, inwards. We have a twisting, turning, lifting, rising, pulling and jerking, upwards and inwards towards your face as the face begins to come down. Now you feel that. And with every breath, that hand wants to rise upwards. And you begin to feel the left bicep muscle tighten. You nod your head when you feel that. The hand drawing inward. That's right, closer and closer. Inward towards your face now. Inward towards your face. Your hand and your face being drawn together. Lifting, rising, upwards and inwards. That hand will touch your face in a few moments. Meet your peak of suggestibility. Closer and closer. Closer and closer. Drawing together now. Drawing together, the hand to the face, the face to the hand, closer and closer, closer and closer, closer and closer, closer and closer. And now this deep sleep. Each time I suggest deep sleep, for the purpose of hypnosis, with your permission, you allow yourself to enter quickly, calmly, and deeply to this depth, or even deeper. I'm going to touch your wrist. We're going to release all the tension out of that arm. We're just going to let it drop. That's right. That's right. Good. Very good. Now you remember that count from five down to zero. Remember that each count, with each count, you allow yourself to enter more deeply into this hypnotic state. Remember zero always represents a, a deep state when we're in hypnosis. And so at five now, letting go. Four, deepening now. Three, Two, one, zero is this deep sleep. Deep sleep, that's right. And it's just <coughs> letting go. Now the sounds around you are just sounds of everyday life, but you're going to focus on my voice. Those sounds will not bother you. You'll just focus on me. and I'll just have a tendency to allow you to drift more deeply into this relaxed, comfortable state. Now just as... You, you witnessed before, I'm going to have you open your eyes in a few moments. We'll use the words, eyes open. And when I say those words, allow your eyes to open. When you hear me say the words deep sleep, your eyes will close. You'll automatically go deeper. Eyes opening. Deep sleep. Let yourself go. Deep sleep. Eyes open. Deep sleep. Eyes up, deep sleep, and going deeper now, going deeper now, going deeper now. Good. Very good. Now I'm going to move behind you and just come around to your side for a moment. So I'm walking behind you. Now I'm going to take a hold of your right arm. Just relax your arm. Let me do the work now. Just relax it. Oh, very good. Very relaxed. Excellent. I'm going to count backwards from the number five down to zero. With each count, we're going to draw the tensions out of the body and into this arm. The arm will have a tendency to grow more rigid and more stiff with each count. Just allow all those tensions that are remaining to move into the arm now. At five, put them into the arm now. At four, all the tensions. Three, two, one and at zero. Now very, very tight. Very tight, Jane. Very, very tight. So very tight that the harder you try to bend it, the more difficult it is to bend. You can try, but you cannot bend it. You cannot bend it. Until I touch your wrist, you cannot bend that arm. Now take a deep breath. Very, very deep. Deep, 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 deep. And let's release it. Let it go. That's it. Let it go. All of it. So very relaxed. And now deep sleep. Each time deep sleep is suggested for the purpose of hypnosis. With your permission, you allow yourself to enter quickly, calmly, deeply. And now feel that physical body relaxing. Physical body relaxing. Good. Now in a moment, I'm going to have you open your eyes. And when you do, you're going to look at my pen. Just look at the silver part of the pen. Eyes opening. Just focus on the pen. 
Now your head is going to remain very still. And you're just going to move your eyes as the pen moves. The chin remains very still now. Now feel the heaviness in your eyelids. Very, very heavy. With every blink, they become heavier and heavier. Very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. Very, very heavy. And wanting to close now. Closing, closing, closing. And now deep sleep. Remember, each time deep sleep is suggested for the purpose of hypnosis. With your permission, you allow yourself to enter quickly, calmly and deeply to this depth, or even deeper, to this depth, or even deeper. That's right. Very good. Good. Now, I want you to, to feel both <coughs> arms now. And I'd like you to put your arms out in front of you with your palms facing upward. Just hold your arms out in front of you at shoulder height. Bring them up. That's right, connecting. I'm just going to touch them for just a moment. I'm going to put this hand in this position, wrist like that. You're going to leave that one just like that. Very good. I'm just going to touch this hand again, just like that. Now, Jane, I want you to imagine that I'm placing a, a very heavy steel ball pressing downward in your hand here. Just feel that pressing down. And on this thumb, imagine I'm tying a string with many very powerful helium balloons. touch this hand. Just imagine that this weight now becomes 10 pounds heavier. When that hand touches your leg, we're going to release both arms. Just we're going to relax them both, let them both drop. Very heavy, that right hand. That's it. Now relax them, let them drop. That's right. Relax. Deep sleep. Both arms relaxing now. Relaxing now. That's right. Each time deep sleep is suggested for the purpose of hypnosis, with your permission, you allow yourself to enter quickly, calmly, and deeply now. And just feeling how the physical body is relaxing, calm or comfortable. Good. Good. Now, Jane, I'm going to ask you to visualize or imagine that you're, you're standing at the top of a very, very safe, very, very <coughs> comfortable staircase of 20 steps. Very comfortable, very safe. Well lit, has a strong handrail. And in a moment, we'll just very comfortably walk down the stairs. And each step we take allows you to enter more deeply into this state. And so at 19, now you step down with your left foot. 18, 17, 16, 15, going deeper, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, <coughs> 2, 1. And of course, zero is that deep sleep. Deep sleep now. Very comfortable. Very calm. Very relaxed. Now in a moment, I'll awaken you again. We'll use a count from zero up to five. At zero, there's always this tendency to go a little deeper and just feel how wonderful it can feel to be calmer and more relaxed sense of well-being about you. And at one, you start to come up and you bring that sense of well-being with you. Two, more aware of the room around you. 
At three, feeling good, comfortable. At four, coming up, chain. And at five, eyes are opening, wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, eyes opening, wide awake. I'm just going to step behind you. Wide awake. One, two, three, four, five, wide awake. Okay. <laughs> so, what did you tell me before you came up? You've never been what? No, I've never been in the Oh, okay. Well, you can, you can put that one away now. <laughs> is that, if that isn't hypnosis, I don't know what is. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, start with if you have a couple questions for Jane, and then I'll break down what we did, and we'll, and we'll get into some specifics about it. Anyone want to ask Jane anything specific before we move forward? I have a question. Let's start here, and then I'll come back to you. Okay, thanks. Um, when he moved your arm from being on the table to both of them facing palm up, did you feel that that brought you out of a deeper state more or kind of distracted you? Or? Yeah, it's interesting because there were times when I felt slightly, you could feel yourself distracted because you can really, it's really good, you're good. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> you're good. Because, yeah, there is that right in between. And if you just keep yourself right there, you're in it. I mean, I was, I felt this tingling in my hands. Yeah. So I never, mm -hmm. That's actually what I experienced in self hypnosis is tingling. Yeah, it was like yeah. this huge tingling. I thought, whoa, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I almost wanted to laugh because I was like, oh, this is really cool. Because it really had no. Yeah. I mean, it was just going. Right? It's, really cool. it's going by itself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I noticed you took a little minute before you came up. Did you, I know you were hearing everything, repeating the same thing over and over again. Did you get tired of saying it, the reason why you. <laughs> 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 you know, he knows the secret. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 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 the question was, did, did, did she beget, become so tired of me saying this, this lifting, rising, that she did, that she did it? So. it? It was really odd because, you, because I'm thinking, like, I really hope this is lifting and rising. I'm hoping it's going to happen. Because you, you're, but no, I didn't. I just thought, OK, I'm just going to let myself go. <coughs> Perfect. And really do it, and as I let myself go into it, I mean, I'm just, I'm just coming up. And this is what we saw here with Jane is much more what we normally see with a client. Uh, you know, Christine was a you know she's been hypnotized before. I think she's probably more conditioned. Uh, so I wanted to bring somebody else up who you could see who's never been hypnotized, never experienced it before. And this is more of the time frame with a physical. It can take even longer with an emotional. So uh, in, in terms of time in the class, we don't want somebody that takes you know, too long. But, but she, you know, she, this, this was very real, very much like what you experienced with someone who first time was experiencing. And I think it's important for you guys to see that. That's, that's the reason we wanted to do it this way. I've got to break it down, but let me, ask, let me answer maybe one or two more quickly. It took you longer to bring her up. So does that mean she was deeper down? or? No. Um, it can. It, it might. Maybe. Uh, the general rule is that a physical suggestible um, goes into the state more quickly, mm -hmm. but they tend to come out more slowly. And the emotional goes in more slowly and comes out more quickly. Because when it's time to come up and get out, I want, I want, I want, I'm here. 